buy premium equipment, you have premium tools, you need premium tools because it's only going to make you more efficient, it's going to give you a better part, it's easier to control tolerances. Welcome back to MTD CNC, my friends. I'm with my buddy Robert today, and we're going to talk Heimer. Now, when you think of Heimer, what do you think of? Don't worry, I'll wait. All right, what popped up? Balancing, tool holders probably, maybe some of the measuring instruments, but was it cutting tools? Today, I want to focus with Robert on cutting tools. Yes, Heimer makes some incredible cutting tools, and we want to hear about some of these successes here with Robert at Smith & Company. So Robert, you obviously have invested in high quality machines. I see Hermelay all around us right now. I know right. you and I have talked about the high quality of the Heimer holders for your cutting tools, but let's talk about the cutting tools specifically and then broaden that horizon with some of the other pieces of the conversation. Can you kind of discuss and go over why you decided to invest in the cutting tools from Heimer and what successes it's brought you? Yeah, sure. So it was probably only about three months ago that we got introduced to Heimer cutting tools. We know uh, the tool holders, just like you said, but we never really got into the cutting tool side of Heimer. So our, uh, our tool distributor uh, told us about them and we're gonna start uh, handling them and being able to ship. So we were like, okay, we use 12 millimeters, 10 mil, I mean, certainly we can, we can try them. So we got some in, started using them. Uh, the first one uh, that we were using was a 12 millimeter uh, on this aluminum application behind me. Um, we were running um, another manufacturing end mill and we swapped over to this Heimer when we found out about it. Uh, well, currently it's still running and we've been running it for a couple of months. It is in aluminum, but the accuracy on these uh, cylinder bores that we're doing on this head, it's over the top, really. The vibe, there's no vibration. We're using a Heimer holder, the Heimer end mill. Uh, we've had really good success with the feeds and speeds and the tool life is there too. So, If I was going to take a wild guess, Robert, and I look around this shop and I see all this quality, I can imagine that tolerances and finish have to be pretty important to the parts that you make. Plus, when we're thinking about all of these mathematical equations going from the machine to the holder to the cutting tool to the work holding base, even the coolant that adds to these finishes, adds the rigidity, adds this precision, that's going to be overall, as we learn when it comes to rigidity, longer tool life, better finishes, higher accuracy and precision from everything from the machine to the cutting tool to the holder because that vibration is what destroys the overall concept of what we're trying to create. Yeah. How important here, when I look around, would you classify something like precision and something like finish and something like rigidity and balance? Well, that's kind of what we do every day. And if you can eliminate the elements, uh, you know, that cause issues that you're chasing tolerances from one part to the next, you just, we don't really have that problem. Let me say that because we've eliminated all of those. Uh, in my 40 years of doing this, we, there's been some hard lessons, but when you buy a good machine, a good holder, a good tool, some of the other things that people chase all the time and kind of just like want to pull your hair out, you know you've been in the machining business, like, well, I want this thing hold the tolerance or whatever. Once you eliminate those uh, issues, you can make better parts. It's easier to, to repeat. It's all of that and uh, and Heimer does a great job. To me, Heimer tool holders is probably the Rolls Royce of tool holders in the world. We've proven it with many manufacturers. I'm not saying there's not good ones out there. I'm just saying from a rigidity, from a, uh, you know, an accuracy uh, being concentric, they do a great job. And it's obvious they're doing that with their cutting tools. So you put two together, you have a, a, a great machine, you got a success story right there, and you haven't even done anything but utilized good technology and good tooling. I love that story, Robert, I really do. And when we talked at the beginning of this conversation, you mentioned time, time is money. And to have that repeatability, as you just mentioned, because you can trust the machine, you can trust the tool holder, you can trust the cutting tool, you can trust the work holding as well, how much time do you think we're saving on not needing to measure every single part all the time because you can trust that a part is gonna come off good every single time. Some people have incredible frustrations 
with what's going on in their shops because they have to measure every single part and that can take minutes to hours to sometimes even days if necessary. Yep. How much time and money do you think you're saving by knowing the parts are coming off good the first time? You know, it's hard to quantify that, but uh, when you invest in something, obviously you want a return on it. And I can tell you that, uh, I'll give you, a couple of months ago we were doing this head, qualifying it, so we were, we utilized the, uh, the Renishaw probe and our bloom laser for, for uh, tool wear, tool breakage, et cetera. So we were, uh, it was a complex uh, cut that we had to go in there and do precision bores. So uh, obviously we're using uh, the Heimer. We go in there, probe the bores, uh, because we didn't want to, you know, basically kill a $300 piece of aluminum, you know, on the second aisle. So, uh, so when, uh, when Stryker probed it, he needed to move it three microns. He put the in the machine for three microns, and even on all the, the axis, it moved three microns, and the part was perfect, first part run. So when we, uh, this is a pretty complex part behind us, but we didn't have a scrap part. Makes all the sense in the world to me, Robert. For everyone watching right now, this is Smith & Company, a fairly young company with decades of wisdom growing up in machine shops, just transitioning into what you see behind me with the latest and greatest technology to streamline what's going on. But on top of that, to take all of those wisdom where maybe there was a failure, to learn from that, and then utilize a brand new space to create valuable products for you, packed with precision and quality. Smith & Company, look these guys up. This is my buddy Robert, look him up as well. Robert, thank you so much thank you. for sharing this story about Heimer, a little bit about Hermelay and the company as a whole. I'm very grateful to be here today and learn this story from you. Yeah, no, I appreciate it. Appreciate it there, Top Gun.